Hi, I'm uh, Richard van Oosterbrugge from Table 65. The name Table 65 is uh, actually, well, 65 is the aerial code, so it's our table in Singapore, something that we're very proud of. Table 65 is a restaurant where you take place at a counter and sit around the kitchen watching uh, a lot of chefs doing their thing. Dishes are being explained by chefs. You have a lot of interaction going on. We want it to be a relaxed atmosphere with highest quality food and highest quality wines. I've been working a long time, you know, in fine dining, and I love preparing the highest standard of, of food. But I'm not always a big fan of uh, the way it's served and presented. Myself, you know, I enjoy very much, you know, the food, but also it needs to be, you know, uh, relaxed. Why be uptight? You can also enjoy food of the best quality, having fun and talking to the chefs and chatting. When I used to work at Bordeaux, it was a classic, uh, you know, you had a kitchen, chefs were locked up, and then you had a beautiful dining room. And then at the end of the evening, uh, I would go, <laughs> go out, ask if everything was okay. And then sometimes, you know, we'd say, come have a look in the kitchen. Everybody loved that. So we said, why not just build a complete restaurant just like that? And it's not, you know, like we're the first to do that. But we definitely do it in our own way. Like two years ago, I was asked uh, to do uh, an event for Michelin and Robert Parker here at Curate. I really liked Singapore. I think it's one of the biggest food hubs in the world. I think it's a really nice opportunity, you know. To be a part of that is something you can be really proud of. The first dish is actually a dish that we started making 10 years ago. So it looks like a piece of bone marrow. We made the bone out of a jelly of uh, smoked herring. And we stuffed it with veal tartare with some sour cream on top. We topped that off with clam juice with bone marrow. On top of that we put some Iranian uh, Caspian Sea farmed beluga caviar. So it's really briny, smoky flavors. Really rich but also rich. you can taste a lot of layers in there. So the next dish here is Jerusalem artichoke. Puffed it in the oven. We take out all the inside, so you only have the skin, but it still looks like complete Jerusalem artichoke. We stuff that with Hokkaido scallops, which we also marinated with Jerusalem artichoke, which we have marinated in uh, sweet and sour. And then we put it on a plate with some uh, leek vinaigrette. Comes at the table, and then we smash it with a hammer, because it's ultra crispy. And we finish it up with the Belper knoll, which is a cheese from Switzerland. The green apple is our uh, signature dish, signature dessert. It's a piece of sugar blown into the shape of an, uh, an apple. You can see through it. And it has a core of apple uh, sorbet in the middle. We serve it with uh, salted caramel, walnut, and some pâte feuilletée around it. The taste is like uh, a tartate. Eh? The flavors are all there. We have marinated apple, we have the caramel, we have the pâte feuilletée. If you want to eat it, you eventually have to break it, yeah. The chocolate balloon is definitely one if you're going to eat that, you're going to fall over. It's chocolate and it's really, you know, old-fashioned dessert where everybody loves it. It's a big chocolate balloon, pour the chocolate over it and it falls open. What you have inside is, again, chocolate, coffee, praliné, but very, very comfort food, you know, it's like chocolate. The girls love it. <laughs> I want them to have fun. I just want people to have a good time and spend a nice evening with the people that they're with. So I want people to enjoy themselves and be happy. Nothing more, nothing less.